Hello and welcome to a new video about the magnetic field. Well, we are talking about coils now, since a while. Huh? So it's a follow of the magnetic field. And last time we talked about what is a coil doing in the DC circuit? Huh? How is this behaving? And then we realized, okay, with an ideal coil with just L, we don't really can tell. Yeah? But as soon as we make an RL combination, we know what is going on. Today we want to precise this. Here I have two situations drawn. Uh, well, we have one situation where we short circuit, there's RL combination, and we have one uh, situation where we can switch the RL combination to a, a voltage source. Right? And we now assume we have this situation for quite a long time, and then we are switching at a certain point in time, we are switching from this situation to this situation at this point in time shall be here. Okay. Here's my time. And here I'm going to draw something. So I've switched this on, right? I switched this on. Uh, what was the what was the situation at the beginning? At the beginning, since everything was short circuit, I would assume that my my current was zero. Uh, my I I have not drawn in I. Here's I. So this I was zero at the beginning, so I'm drawing here I. Yeah. All other voltages were also zero. Yeah. Let's have first a look at UT, the total voltage. This was zero. And when I turn this on, here we have U0. So we must here have also U0. Yeah? So it will immediately jump to U0. So this is our total voltage at our series connection. This is U0. This, this here shall be UT. Yeah? We are jumping up. And now let's have a look what is happening to our to our resistor. Or let's let's have a look what is happening to our, our current. Does our current change? No. It cannot change immediately it cannot jump because there's a coil inside. So it has to remain at zero. If it remains at zero, my voltage at UR, if there's no current passing a, a resistor, the voltage is zero. So UR is zero. Alright? I'm also drawing in UR. UR is at the beginning zero because there is no current and will stay zero. Here we have UR. Okay. This line shall be UR. This means my UL must follow since UR is not changing, it stays zero, my UL follows UT, because UR and UL in total, in sum, must be UT. So my UL is jumping up here. Here is my UL. It's jumping with... It's jumping with UT. This shall be UL. It's jumping with UL up here. Now we have a voltage at the coil. The voltage at the coil is changing the current. Okay, so our current, our I starts to grow. And I will draw in here also. We said our I will reach a certain stable value and I call this I0 and I will draw it also in here. So we have here I0. And our I was here, cannot read it anymore, but it was here, and it starts to grow. And now we have exactly the same situation as we had in, in when we loaded capacitors. Yeah? We talked about the capacitors. We are starting to grow with a certain grow rate. And we are again having a certain time constant. Yeah? And after one time constant, this is, has grown to 63%. 
after two time constant, it was always 63%. Yeah? And after five time constant, we are at 99.5%. So this is how my current will look like. Okay, this is my current passing through. Why does it look that way? Because every time the current is growing, every time the current is growing, UR is growing. So if I have now a look at UR, it will grow exactly the same way as SI is growing. Huh? Let's write down maybe the, the, the formula I from T equals and I0, 1 minus I minus T raised by the power of minus T, tau. And this tau is again our time constant, which equals this time, we can calculate this with L divided by R, uh, time constant. Time constant of the RL combination. And here, this UR is scaled. Yeah? So we have here 63%, going up probably here, 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 and here we are practically there. So our, my UR is looking like that. It's the scaled variant. And here UR has already reached, uh, has already reached U0, almost, yeah. So, this is what determines my I0. My I0 is U0 divided by R. Because if this I is going, passing through my resistor, it will consume already full U0 and there is nothing left for for the coil, and if there is no voltage at the coil, there is no change of current through the coil. Yeah. So this is where it all will end. Yeah. At least the current change will end. <laughs> and now we can determine what is going on with UL, because UL and, and UR must be in total, must be UT, yeah, the total voltage, and this is U0, this is constant. So here UL will drop exactly the same way as as uh, UR is growing. So we are going down here. This is what is remaining here will be here. What is remaining here will be here. So in, in sum, UL and UR will reach the total voltage up here. So we're ending up in a situation where we have here, after one time constant, we have already passed around 63%, yeah, and we still have to go around 37%. This is how this looks like, right? Turning on an RL combination. And now, oh so, the formula, of course. What is UL? UL from T. This is my U0, my voltage here, multiplied by E raised by the power of minus T divided by tau. So it will slowly disappear, and after long T, we will be at the end, at zero. So now we assume we have this quite a time now, right? We're driving like this a time, longer time, longer than several time constants, let's say 100 time constants, and then we are switching back. Then we do it like that, Ooh. from this situation to this situation, and this we do exactly at this point in time. Yeah. So here we are also have a look at I, we will also have a look at UT, the total voltage, we will also have a look at if the, if the gravity is still working, yes it does, 
and we have a look at UR and we have a look at UL. Hmm? Well, where are our values? So we had somewhere an I0. Huh? Here's an I0. We had somewhere an U0. Here's our U0. Our voltage at the resistor is up here. Huh? After a long time, we're up here. Our current passing through, our current passing through will here be at I0. Huh? This is our beginning. And our voltage at UL will be down here, will be already zero. Everything is stable. Mm -hmm. Let's have again a look at the total voltage. We are up here at U0 with our total voltage. And now, book, we are switching to our total voltage must be zero. Huh? Because now, if we have a look at this loop, UT is zero. Yeah? UT is zero, so it will drop from here, tuk, 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 down here and will remain here. This must be our UT. The current is not changing when switching because there is a coil inside and the current in a coil cannot jump. So I will stay I0. So UR will stay U0 because if the current is not changing, U at a resistor will not change. So what must be done at UL? UL will change its direction uh, and will be will jump down here to minus U0. Some my UL will drop here boom, to minus U0. Because now this plus and this minus in total are zero. Now we have again a voltage at a coil, so our, now a negative voltage, so our current will drop. And it will drop, since this is the same R and the same L, with the same time constant, so we can immediately draw in here the start tangent, okay? And we will drop over time down to zero. So this is how a current, current will look like, maybe not that shaky, yeah? but this is how it will look like. Yeah? Here after one time constant, again 63% gone, still remaining 37%. Yeah? So my I from T in this case would be I0, it looking exactly like this, yeah? so we have the same form, formula multiplied by E minus T divided by tau, raised by the power of this stuff. Yeah. So what is our voltage at the resistor doing? If this current is following this path, our voltage of our resistance will follow the same path, but scaled. So we will drop it like that. a scaled representative of our current. Mm -hmm. And how is the UL looking like? If the voltage at UR is dropping at this, UL is minus UR in this case, because in total they have to be zero, so it is like a mirror. Like a mirror. So my, we have again here this tangent at the beginning, yeah? and we are going up, starting from here, going up, and it's mirroring the bright blue line in the negative, yeah? because in sum, bright blue and dark blue must be zero. So what does it mean for our formula? Our UL, in this case from T, equals u0, but this time minus u0, multiplied by e raised by the power of minus t divided by tau. With the same time constant tau. So we will have a voltage peak at our 
at our coil. Right. right now it does not look too spectacular, right? Because we're reaching minus u0. But now let's think, what is if we have an additional resistance in here? Here we have an additional resistance. Call it Ra for additional resistance. We're switching in this direction. The current is not changing. The current will stay the same. This time the current is passing Ra and is passing R. So we will have a voltage here and here. Yeah? We have two voltages, Ura and Ur. And since the current is the same, the voltage will be higher because we have more resistance. It is acting like a series connection, so this R here will be higher, so this tau, the time constant, will be smaller. However, yeah, we will have a higher peak because this U, if we want to drive this current through both, yeah, we need a higher voltage. So our peak at our, our coil will be higher. It will not be that slow, it will be faster because tau is dropping, yeah, but the peak will be higher. The higher RA is, this additional resistance, the higher the peak, the voltage peak will be. Okay? And in extreme case, when we open, we have opened this, yeah, RA is unlimited, then this voltage peak would be theoretically unlimited. This is not happening, because actually, at one point in time, we are reaching the maximum uh, voltage here at our switch, and there will be poof, a spark. Mm -hmm. Will be a spark, and there is still current going, and the spark will be on until this voltage is dropped below a certain value. However, a spark is hot and will cause here some damage. Mm -hmm. So, if we just open a switch on a coil, we will have a spark. Mm -hmm. This is sometimes used, for instance, for the ignition of your combustion engine. Yeah, then it's technically used, then we have here high voltages, because our, our usually 12 volts in our cars, and we need uh, several thousand volts for, for igniting our, our uh, spark, at our spark plugs. Yeah. This is, was, done, was done like that, there was a coil, yeah. there, was a, there was simply, it was exactly this. Yeah. Uh, but usually it's a bad thing, yeah? because if you want to switch off a coil, which you do more often than you think, because every relay, every motor and so on have coils, coils inside, uh, then this is destroying slowly the contact. So we need to think about some things, w how to prevent these high peaks of voltage. And what can be done about this, I will explain in next video. So next video is uh, help at high voltage peaks for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.